Hello and welcome into this video I want to show how you can easily migrate any Windows IS from one drive to another. It can be HDD, SSD, M2 NVMe SSD, it doesn't matter. For example, in my case I want to migrate Windows 11 from this 120GB SSD to a new one with 256GB of capacity. How to do it without booting issues? I will show in this video. Let's go! And now first you need to connect a new SSD or HDD to your PC. To check it was recognized by the system, on that you can use an app called Crystal Disk Info. As you can see in my case, it was recognized successfully. To clone our OS, of course we will need special software. I will use an app called ISOS Disk Copy. All the links will be in the description. Now we will need to download it. Open the app, wait for install. Here is the menu. To clone Windows 11, you need to press System Mode. The source disk is the disk you want to clone. In the end you will get the full copy of your disk. On another drive. So even if it has Windows 11 installed, you will be able to boot Windows from another drive. And of course all your files from the source disk will be saved. By the way, the partitions will be also migrated. The app will automatically detect the source disk. Then you need to select the target disk. The target disk is the drive you want to write the copy to. In my case this is disk 2, is a disk with 256 gigabytes of capacity. I think it's logical to assume that the target disk should have the same or more capacity than the source disk. Then press next. All data on the target disk will be erased, so be careful here. Then click proceed. Now just wait until it ends. The cloning speed depends on the capacity of your disk. So please be patient. Press finish. Done. And as you may notice, it can automatically adjust the boot order. To boot from the current target disk. Just in case I will show you how to do it manually. Press finish, done. Let's check it. This is the source SSD and this is the target. And as you may notice, they are the same now, except disk capacity of course. I also have some files in Windows 11 on the source disk. It's a document, the text, an image, this wallpaper and a video. Just one of my videos. All your files, settings, etc. will be also migrated to the target disk. Ok, now let's boot from our new disk. To get into device, you need to press the lead button on a keyboard. To change the boot order on the Masai motherboard, you need to press settings, your fire hard disk drive priorities, and select here your new SSD. In my case, this is X-ray disk. Then press F10 button to save configuration. And now we should boot from a new disk. Windows 11 is loading. And it worked. Nice. As you can see, we have the same Windows 11 like it was on the previous disk. But we have more free space. It happens because my new SSD has more capacity than the previous one. By the way, here is the previous. You can boot from the previous disk without any problems. What about my files? The files are in the same place. We can play the same video. It's working great. This app has other features. One of them called Disk Mode. Using this mode you can clone any disk. But this mode doesn't copy Windows boot sector, which is located on another drive. So if you want to clone Windows 11, you should use the system mode, which I used before. It also has a partition mode. You can migrate any partition from one disk to another. And there is a feature called Create Bootable Disk. Thanks to this feature, you will be able to use all features, which are present in this app, but without Windows. All you need is USB thumb drive. Let me show you how it works. Here you must select USB and your USB thumb drive. All data on the thumb drive will be erased, so be careful, then click Create. You need to access boot menu and then select your USB thumb drive. In my case, this is your FIMA storage device. Here you can perform all actions that I did before. That's how you can easily migrate any Windows IS to another drive. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. If this video helps, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later, bye.